Greg, the employees at that pot shop down the street were still too shaken up today to talk to us about Monday's incident. Pot shop employees up and down the I-5 corridor are scared to come to work. And for years, Congress has tried to get the cash out of those shops, but they failed. But today, Patty Murray says there's new reason for hope. Nobody should have to come into work at, uh, and, and, and be concerned of not making it home at uh, night. Shea Hines owns three Lux pot shops in Seattle. He and fellow cannabis business owners say they need help getting cash out of their shops. It makes absolutely no sense that legal cannabis businesses are being forced to operate entirely in cash. U.S. Senator Patty Murray says she is optimistic Congress can solve the cash problem. Because the federal government considers marijuana illegal, federally regulated banks cannot conduct business with cannabis operations. And unless pot shops bank with locally regulated credit unions, they cannot conduct credit or debit card transactions. The Safe Banking Act, though, would allow banks and pot shops to do business. And the U.S. House of Representatives has passed it six times, but it's repeatedly died in the Senate. But Senator Murray says attaching it to another bill, one dealing with supply chain issues, could be a path forward at a time when she knows the midterm elections could change the balance of power in Congress. I feel good about that path, um, but again, you're right. It's, it's a challenging time for all of us, a lot going on, um, but uh, this is one way that I do believe we can get it done. We had three different armed robberies uh, over the course of a few weeks. Pot shop owners say they've been asking for help for years, and they hope this year Congress acts. This would be extremely helpful. I think it would probably fix a lot of the issues we're seeing. Now back to that robbery here in Lacey from Monday night. While one of the suspects was arrested, police have not been able to track down the other man seen getting cash out of a register. He's described as about 5 foot 11, 260 pounds. If you know anything, call Lacey Police. Live in Lacey tonight, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.